Hi, welcome to an NX10 video tutorial. It's a remake of an old one. It's all about uh, draft, split and shell. So let's go for a sketch. Maybe on that plane. Confirm. I need a rectangle. And this should be 60 by 70. Okay. Now let's make the sketch origin and this line make it the center point and align this axis and that line collinear. Okay, finish the sketch. Let's make an extrude. And this should be 18. And confirm. Now I need the same sketch again. I could copy it. So Let's copy and control V, insert it, all the same, confirm, activate it and show the details and change here the expressions from this one should be 26 and the other one should be 52. Okay, now let's make another extrude with that sketch and this should be 33. And unite it and confirm. Let's hide the sketch. Where is it? Oh, both sketches hide and hide. Okay, let's go for our draft. The different options I will go from planar surface. Most importantly, always make sure the vector points in the right direction. I want to draft this side and that side, so the draft direction should be this one. The stationary face is that one. And now select the faces which are going to be drafted and confirm. Another draft. The vector is this one because I want to draft this side. The stationary face is this face. And the face I want to draft is that one. And it should be 10 degrees. And confirm. Okay. Now I want to draft this half of the face and that half of the face. So let's go for draft again. Again from planar surface. And I will choose the vector should be this one, make always sure the vector is in the right direction because almost all of the time that's the problem. So let's go for a, a parting face and it's stationary and parting. I just need a parting face because the parting face is the stationary face. So this select stationary parting face is that plane. I want to draft both sides. The angle could be symmetric, yeah it's 10, 10. And the face which should be selected is this one. And you already see that's the result and I'm happy with it, so confirm. Then I need another plane with an offset from 
minus 1, yeah, and the offset should be 50. Okay. Right here. Now I could go for the same or I could go for a split. So I will split the faces just to show how it's done. So go for more, divide the face, and I want to divide this face and that face with this plane. Projection is normal to face, that's okay, and okay. Now you got two faces, and you could make a draft here and a draft there. So let's go for draft. You can do from edges. Yes, the draw vector is this one, and the stationary edge is this one, and that one. And the angle should be, I think there it is, 10. And OK, and I will change the draft before to 5 degrees. And confirm. Nice. Now let's add the fillets or blends, whatever you call it. And first one should be 20 millimeters this edge and that one over here, apply, next are 5 millimeters, this one, that one, this one, that one, and that one, apply, again 5 here, 5 there, apply, and finally 3 over here. And OK. Now I need a shell and I want to move faces, this one and that one. And the thickness should be, no, this thickness should be 3 millimeter. There are no alternate thicknesses right here. And OK what's missing an extrusion so in this case I could make a sketch right on that plane okay that's just a circle diameter should be 10 This point on that axis should be aligned, and the distance within this point and that point should be 40. Close, finish the sketch. Now I need an extrude, so go for extrude. That's sketch directions okay, but I want to start with an offset and this would be 18. And okay, I could hide the sketch and I need another blend or fillet and this should be 2 right here and confirm and I'm done so hope you enjoy this video there will be I think two or three more with the other programs same exercise bye bye